This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow me back here with another episode of AI Somnium. In the last episode, we entered inside Mizuki's brain to figure out why she won't talk anymore. Well, I mean, we know why. We just got to figure out how to get her to start talking again. We need the answers, dang it. But anyway, we're dealing with some wibbly wobbly timey wimey, that's for sure. So let's explore this place and see if a. Wait, looking around causes the time to go? I thought not moving did huh okay well whatever huh I guess uh, I guess it moves just really really slowly all right whatever I saved it before this anyway so the entrance gate can we just get out let's just leave oh tackle it again um uh, yeah let's just try to open it let's try to be normal for once we'll need more than a little force to open this this gate is as solid as my virtue. I don't know how solid your virtue is. What are we talking about now? <laughs> the entrance gate. Now let's try to tackle it. Leave it to me. The gate hurts more than I do. Doubt it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, just kind of dicking around. So I guess the timer still goes. It just goes super slowly if you're not moving, so... Keep that in mind for future. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. Thanks for that, dude. This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. <laughs> Threaten the speaker. So, or shout at it. Well, you we know what the probably answer is, but let's shout at it. Stop it. Stop it already! Guys, it, like, it sounds like she's got a, like, ADD or something like that, you know? Mike. Yeah, let's try uh, threatening it. Hey, you talking about my mom? You slipped with my up, mom? Listen up, miscreant. I know you're hiding in there. Throw down your weapon and come out with your hands up! Nothing happened. Your parents would be very disappointed in you. You can fix this. You have so much to live for. You can't give up hope now. You're having fun, aren't you? Did you did you sleep with my wife? Did you sleep with my wife? No. <clears throat> Alright. So how do you utilize <clears throat> No. Never mind. I was thinking something else for a second. Oh, I never actually looked at the birdcage itself. Oh, it's just right over here, so. Let's see what that says. An enormous bird cage. Mm. Let's lift. Oh right, we can use timing one here if we want to to like make it half or why would we want to add time to the to the uh Maybe that's for something that might cost more or whatever. Mm. Understood. Well, lift with the legs, not the back, Rogar. Agent Dante, An enormous bird cage. Now let's try a. Uh, whoops. No. Oh, God, no. Understood. Dang it! I did this. I wasted. How much time did I waste? Thirty seconds. <sighs> All right, fine. Anyway, let's do that again. See, so, yeah, I probably got to redo this now that I messed up on that. I was actually gonna use time, and then do that. So, oh well. It is too narrow. No, your body is slim enough to get through. You think so? In that case... Guess you're fatter than I thought. I am not! I am just... large-breasted! Doesn't look like it. Yeah, you're, you're an A cup at best. Maybe B cup. Uh, I mean, uh... whatever. I wasn't scared. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. Oh, uh, now you get one-fourth or one-third from either one. I assume using it just increases the time, yeah, so... Alright, anyway. Let's just open it. Let's just be nonsensible. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try. I 
Didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. Why does this remind me of Bioshock for some reason? You have anyway. Three minutes, Dante. Well, I'm screwed. Uh, let's we'll see. Balloons and whatever. And then, I guess, pictures or something like that. Let's check this one first. A bird cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? You can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. Yeah, you know, we we don't we don't uh <clears throat> we don't want the connotations that rubber comes with, if you know what I mean. Oh, we don't even know what's gonna happen when we look at what's the two different ones? Oh, ass it takes one fourth of the time off. That's not bad. Uh, let's look inside first. There are a number of balloons inside. Looks like they'd fly away if you lifted the cage. What would that accomplish? I don't know. Dream worlds are unpredictable. Cause and effect are screwed up here. Hmm. Well, we wanted to get rid of that 40 anyway. That thing was a pain in my rear. A bird cage. There are balloons inside. I like how she. I do like how the voice actress actually changed her dialogue for balloons, just to indicate that. Um. Oh. Um. Wait. No. Uh. I mean, might as well utilize these. So let's try uh, tackling it. I'll send it flying. I think you've had enough. I'll let you go. This time. You don't always have your true strength in dreams, I guess. Uh, the, uh, we'll get you next time, Gadget. NEXT A TIME! Cage. There are balloons. Alright, let's try, uh... Eh, uh, I mean, might as well do the 30 second, because then we can... Um, at least knock some time off of the, the 55 seconds there. This'll be easy. Glad to hear it. What? But it was so heavy. Well, it's only heavy in your brain, you know. Unlock number two. Blew away the cage. Apparently, there's uh, different ways of solving the. Uh... But nothing happened. Oh, what is this? Deflated balloon. Retry. Retry will allow you to return to a save point just after unlocking a mental lock. But you only have three retries. Going back once costs one lock. Going back two costs two. And going back three locks will cost all three. You regain your retries by selecting restart from the menu or by failing the sink. This is likely your best option if time is low. Hmm. So I guess there's different ways to solve it. Does that... And uh, does that affect the story at all, or the ending of the story? Hmm. Maybe it depends on, uh, on the character or whatever. A deflated rubber. I told you, please call it a balloon. What are you getting so worked up about? We know, viewers, but we're not going to say. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Just eat it. Just eat it. Uh, yeah, might as well use a... Something. Well, let's throw it first, see what happens. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Wait, did I. Oh, I must have not have used it. I could swear I highlighted it and balloon. activated it. I guess I didn't. Well, that's bad enough for me. Let's try. Well, no reason using a time thing. On... Well, I might as well use it because I'm about to. Let's eat it. What? Yeah, you can put it in your mouth, chew it, and then blow it up like bubblegum. I could blow it up normally. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a complete waste of time. It's a deflated balloon. Alright, let's actually use the... Use the time this time. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a retry out of the way, Understood. but whatever. 
At that point, I'd probably just reload the game afterwards and stuff, and not wor worry about retries and everything. It's huge. I wish your boobs were that big. Are you serious? Those are obscenely large for a human. Well, I suppose I am not technically human. So... Date, please, be quiet. Absolutely huge has not stopped people on the internet before. You know what I'm talking about. You were able to get out? Perhaps the balloon was the key. I remember now a story I heard from Mizuki a while back. One time when Mizuki was just a little girl, Shok Shoko brought her a balloon. Or brought her or bought her? Anyway, it was one of the nice helium ones. I've actually heard uh, in the I've heard helium's actually on the decline. Like uh, um, like it's actually we're running out of helium in the world or whatever. Um, I don't know all the details about it. I just I, don't know, I just thought I'd bring it up. But the string slipped through her hand. The balloon sailed up into the sky. Shoko snapped. She scolded Mizuki for hours. It's just a balloon, lady. Calm down. Maybe that's why Mizuki put the balloons inside the birdcage. That way they could never fly again. But I guess I bet and I made her relive a painful memory. All right, now that the birdcage is off, let's get Mizuki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. Selecting the map icon will bring up a map of the current Somnium world. You can use your current location and objects you've investigated on your Somnium map. If you're lost or want to save time, try checking the map. Okay. Yeah, so you're not you're not wasting your whole time like walking around or whatever. So there's the parasol, and then there's the uh, um, panda thing over there. One minute. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have to do a retry anyway, so it's just might as well. I was thinking that probably happened the first time I played the played a level. The panda is floating. And I wanted to make sure to actually try all the options, even though I know there's clearly some that are better than others or whatever. So, all right. So, so you kick away where where seems to be the obvious. <laughs> Slap down. Um, let's try uh, kicking it away. See what happens. All right. What is this? Merry-go-rounds can fly. Date, over there. Why? Why is Iris... She appears to be frozen. What the hell is going on? <coughs> what is this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? Here. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! If you weren't here, everything would be fine! I'm sorry! Apologizing means nothing! Say something! Don't make me into the bad guy! But... What's that look, huh? Mizuki's voice. The other voice is likely... Damn. What's going on here? Aiba, look out! What? I 
was about to become a pancake. Good thing this isn't a bed and breakfast. That frozen iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. 360 second limit. If you choose the correct answer as your final action, you can exceed, actually exceed the 360 second time limit. Even if it seems like you don't have a lot of time left, don't give up. You might be able to do it. You can do it, Hideki! Peter's sleep talking. More than one second when you clear. You get it fine. No boss, anything but that. Okay, so. I was actually kind of hoping to get the joke response. I guess I was wearing it or whatever. Well, I don't want to show every single response in this game, so, but I'm try I try to, but, uh, oh well. Maybe I'll do, ooh, let's check something, even though we... A merry-go-round horse. Spank the horse? Hell yeah! Yeah, yep, let's spank that horse. You punched it? Nothing is happening. Poor horse. I was about to, I was actually about to make a joke, but the game knew it before I did, so there you go. A merry-go-round horse. Um Oops, ah, I meant to use a timer thing. Excuse me, but do you happen to know the culprit? I see. Did you learn something? I did. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Well? This horse cannot speak English. Well, it is a horse, of course. Well, I, yeah, I actually meant to use a time thing on it, but uh, I accidentally pressed the directional pad again. I've been doing that quite a bit, apparently. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to end up uh, not having to retry anyway, so... Does it look fun? You look cute like that. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, it looked more creepy to me, but what do I know, right? No good. Date, the time! The time. Damn, we didn't make it! Okay, it just, uh... It just, uh... It takes you here because you have to solve it obviously I didn't know if there would be like a game over or something like that so I guess just we'll retry for now no we could take it back all the way to the beginning we'll just do the second one now I can show the other option uh, other like responses yay a deflated rubber I told you please what are you getting so worked yeah, you gotta, uh it was blow up this it was blow up right yes so um, now it's actually used the time this time i think uh understood there's supposed to be i thought there was supposed to be like an option to uh oops i could swear there was supposed to be a button to like skip stuff it's huge i wish you are you yep what? big boobs and everything like that and yeah, make a joke about the internet and big boobs you know what i mean I could swear there was like a you could hold down to like skip stuff. Because I've already seen the dialogue, I should be able to skip uh, skip stuff. Like that, but... Well, if I just press the button, it goes by faster too. All right. Do you not? You, but I can't, you can't stop. You can't stop it. Actually, give me a reason to, uh, to uh, you have less than two minutes. Um, check the, uh, uh, well, I already checked the gate and the microphone, but let's see what the, uh, actually never did check the parasol over here. Might as well see what, uh, see what it does. Oh well, yeah, I wonder, I mean, there's supposed to be a secret for being in this place within a time period, but can you find stuff like in the previous the area where, you, where we found that fruit, for example? Or did we find it because we beat it? within a certain period of time. Anyway, spin more, stop it, breathe on it, and let's, uh, let's breathe on it. Yeah. Oh. Think of it like a girl's skirt. Silence, Date. Wow. What is this? 
merry-go-rounds can fly? Date. Okay, it looks there. like it's repeating itself now. Oh, so it's just two different ways to solve the same thing. Hmm. Uh, why would you not choose the panda then first? Because, um, why? Why is that? Because that one's closer, Gee, what right? What is this? And this is where you find out that I don't. I wonder. If, I don't know if the mom straight up said she didn't wish she was born, but I bet that's the. Even if she never did, that's probably the feeling she got from her mom. That's probably why she stayed with Date or or whoever, because she felt uh, not accepted at home or whatever you want to call it. I was good thing that that I'm a pet and breakfast. Yeah, it talks about that. Blah 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 blah. Well, might as well. Oh, the head. Oh, it disappeared. Huh. Okay. I guess I guess they're both the same solution or whatever you want to call it. And there's no reason to do the microphone. Um, and I don't. We didn't get anything for the horse, did we? Other than uh, spanking and talking to him, didn't find anything. So. Yeah, it was like she punched the horse. I think th I think that's more creepy than cute, just because the, I don't know, just the way she's smiling maybe or something. Fun? But it just you look cute like it. Oh. I think we have a different definition, Date, of what's cute. But uh, anyway. Okay, I guess. Um, I guess we just talk to her now. Okay, I was just seeing if there's anything else like that I could see, other than the obvious stuff. All right. Let's talk to her then. It's Mizuki. Uh, give present, encourage, speak kindly, break the glass, break the system, man. It's all. It's all. That's what it's all about, man. Mizuki, step back. No good. Damn. But all my years of, of watching anime and playing Dragon Ball teaches me violence solves everything. How can that be? Uh, we don't have any presents, though. Oops, I didn't mean to actually press the directional button. But why? It's motivational. A lot of companies do it. I suppose I will give it a try. Hey! Stop moping around! Stand up and get out here! Guess it didn't work. I don't think it works for those companies, either. Hmm. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Anyway, one minute. it's Mizuki. Let's try. Uh, let's try giving her a present. Yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah. A gift? Oh, that might work. Mizuki, now you can have a taste of the merry-go-round every day of your life. It will also improve your health. That's your gift. No, like I'm not, I'm not sure if I like the humor in this game or, like, well, not that I hate it. You know, it's it's weird to explain. Like, it has an odd sense of humor to it that I'm not. Sure. I think I like it, but I'm not. I'm not. I can't really. I can't really describe it. But anyway, um, let's uh, let's speak kindly. Would you kindly get out of that? Oh, I forgot to press the time button again. Dang it, Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. So, it's all right now. Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. Where's it coming from? Date, don't! You can't stay any longer! We bro 
broke the third law. Heal Mizuki with Shoka's voice. So I guess there's... I guess we can heal her the another way if we did it the other way. Pain. Mother, blood, and the Holy Ghost? I don't know. Yeah, I assume... Uh, I assume we can help her another way if it's not with her voice and it's something else. So that's interesting. Still traumatized. Iba, call Iris's phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. This is Kaname Date from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Oh, Date! Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? Okay. But if I do... Will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? No. Then go on a date with me. A date? If you promise me we'll go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. If you don't promise me, then... I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. <sighs> All right. Understood. Understood? Great. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Fine. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya! What was that? A phone call? It's nothing. Uh, going on a date with the, the kid? I think I just threw up in my mouth again. Oh good, we can just check this stuff again. Is anything different this time? On this table. brings me back. Date and I used to make love on this table. We did not! We just poured salmon roe and seaweed salad all over each other. That sounds even more kinky. Damn, dude. I, I want to know what that story is all about. <laughs> you have a peer to the man who's probably not into that stuff. He's like, alright, that's kinky. Oh, different strings of characters and numbers continue to scroll on the monitor. Hmm. Many objects are scattered on the table, but yeah, I, I want to see some scenes where boss and boss was love making. Please, I ship it. Please, no. I'm just... Anyway, binder. Oh, did I miss that last time? I opened the binder. There are pictures of macho-looking men in loincloths, roses in their mouths. Okay, <laughs> a binder. Hey, man. Like I said, whatever makes you happy. A metal shelf. But yeah, like I said, perhaps you should hide your porn better. Just saying. TRT2. Today is Saturday. No reaction drama should be broadcasting soon. First, no, it won't. Second, that's not even a TV. Yeah, it's a monitor. A CRT monitor. What is a door, not a door? Whoops. I didn't mean to skip. Uh, monitor off. This monitor's turned off for good reason. This door leads to the sink room. Sorry. I know I probably shouldn't check this stuff again, but the fact we actually got extra dialogue, like the boss talking about lovemaking, kind of made it worth it, actually. A locker. Hey, Date. Remember that time you were blackout drunk? You thought that locker was a urinal? Please don't remind me. Hmm. They must have been crazy when they were kids. Wait. 
but does he not remember anything about so this happened within the last six years i guess um uh, <coughs> whoops <coughs> sink machine you can see the sink machine through the window uh, and i assume if you do the alternate way to get her out it, the same scene still occurs it's just how you solve it i guess maybe you get some extra unlockables if you do it differently maybe i don't know computer about somnium in a normal dream the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it dreams are first person experiences however the circumstances are slightly different during a sink the sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Hmm. I guess so the sinker is a voyeur, huh? Gross. But the ringtone I heard insomnium? I know about the ringtone you heard, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? That's what I'm trying to find out. Can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately not. Okay, that's it. All right, no more questioning on that. Be done with your questions, be done! Peter is standing with his hands in his pocket. Ah, the corpse you saw in Somnium. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's see. As a man of science, I don't believe in such things. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Huh? You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. She could have used some stab-proof armor or something. <laughs> Just indulging in the fantasy of real-life prophecies. <laughs> Don't mind me. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible true you see well the thing is I, I bet so far in the future i bet we've solved the problem of 47 stab wounds in the back so wait what's that oh we've only solved 45 stab wounds in the back oh well then she's doomed but can we uh, oh what, wait was there something i was about to do my outro but i think i thought i saw some green green where was it i saw it i saw something that was green you can't run away from me, game. Okay, I could swear I saw something that was highlighted green that wasn't Mizuki. Oh, is it that folder? No? I could swear something was green. Did you not see it, viewers? Am I am, am I insane in the membrane? Oh, it was the chair. Fuck the chair. I mean, the police. I mean, never mind. Well, anyway, uh, looks like Mizuki isn't quite out of the, the fire yet, so we've got to put our boots to the grindstone and talk to her and see if we can get her out of this little funk and talk to the boss some more because I love talking to the boss. Please marry me, boss. Anyway, find out what happens next. Oh, and find out how, uh, what happens if we solve the uh, her dream the other way next time on the next episode of AI Somnium. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.